The jeans was first crafted around a century back, but seven out 10 men are still styling their jeans wrong. Here is the complete guide to style your jeans with anything in your wardrobe. Starting off the list, let's start with the upper wear. The key to correctly matching a jacket with jeans is pretty simple. The vast majority of jeans out there are going to be on the casual side. So if you're going to wear these with a jacket, you really want to go for those jeans that are going to be a bit dressier, not, not formal, no such thing as formal jeans, but those that are over there on that dressier side. So these are going to be free from distress. They're in general going to be darker colors. So when it comes to distressed denim, light colored denim, when it comes to stone washes, classic blue denim, I mean, there are instances that you can pull this off. If you're a rock star, if you've got the confidence, if you own the company, if you love the look, then yeah, go for it. But for the vast majority of us mere mortals, I would recommend going with a dark denim. Maybe you can go even with black denim and there are options out there, you know, charcoal gray, something really, really dark colored. That is going to work best with sports jackets, with blazers, with suit jackets. I also like it when the denim's a bit heavier in weave. So if you can find something raw, something in indigo, that really, really looks good. And people can clearly tell that this is denim, but, you know, mixed in with that dark color with, again, a, maybe a dark sports jacket or a sports jacket with a little bit of pop and color, I think you can pull off this combination. Now, when it comes to the fit, I'm going to go for a tapered cut. I'm going to go for a slim cut and maybe a straight cut. Avoid skinny, avoid really loose denim. And we're starting to see, again, things go towards the looser side. Be careful of that, especially if you're going with a jacket that's a bit more fitted. And this is something I didn't hit on the jackets too much, but if you've got a well fitted jacket. You want to go with well-fitted denim. They should match up in about that type of fit. So if you've got really close-fitted denim with a loose jacket, that combination there is just not going to work. It's going to be off. So make sure that the fit on that jacket, if you like your jacket's a little bit looser, it's okay to go with a straight fit pair of denim. But Antonio, a jacket is fine, but what about a dress shirt? Properly combining dress shirt and jeans is to wear the right type of jeans. Again, jeans in of themselves are casual garment, but there are different types of styles and cuts of jeans out there, some more casual than others. You want to gear towards the dressier jeans, if there is such a thing. So we're talking jeans that have the right first cut. And by cut, I mean, and you want to avoid skinny jeans. You want to avoid baggy jeans. What you're looking for is a straight cut jean. Now, there are going to be variations of this. You're going to see a slim straight cut, which is a great option if you're a little bit thinner. Maybe just want to go for a regular, a classic straight cut. This is going to be for a little bit heavier, a little bit bigger guy, a little bit more muscular guy. What if you are a heavier dude though? Definitely go for a looser straight cut. Again, we're not going for baggy jeans here, but we're going for something that's going to be a little bit looser. It's going to work with your body build. Now, when it comes to your color choices, go for darker denim in general. We're talking indigo, dark blue. You can even choose black, maybe a very dark charcoal gray, but you want to go for darker colored denim. Let's not forget to talk about distressing. Any type of design on the jean, going for a really high contrast stitch. These are things I like to avoid. Any type of, yeah, you know, type of rhinestones right there on the back of the buttocks. Let's avoid this type of look made popular by a few different brands out there. I see still guys trying to pull this off. It doesn't look good, especially if you're wearing it with a dress shirt. And by the way, when I'm talking about distressing. I'm also talking about wear and tear when you wear the denim. So, if you've had a pair of dark denim, but you've washed them plenty of times in the wash and they've faded, this may not be the best pair to keep wearing with a dress shirt. You want to go with something that's a little bit, yeah, just going to maintain its color. But if you are living in a cold area of the world, you can't just wear a shirt. You have to go with a sweater. Sweaters with jeans is to wear the right type of jeans. So, first up, there are going to be ultra casual styles out there. These are going to be light colored, they're going to be stonewashed, they're going to be distressed, maybe they're going to have holes in them. In general, those are going to be much harder to wear with a sweater. Can it be done? Yes, but it's going to be a much more fashion forward look and in general is harder to pull off. So I'm not going to recommend it for guys just starting off. Instead, I'm going to say go towards dark, solid colored jeans in neutral palettes. We're talking grays, dark blues, all variations of indigo. Don't go for anything that's too bright a blue. Instead, black would be a good option. You want jeans that aren't really going to grab attention, are going to be more of a supporting character. Next up, let's talk about your body type. For most men, especially if you've got a thin build, if you have a regular, just classic build, then you're going to want to go for jeans that either have a slim cut or have a regular cut. 
Now, I'm not saying you can't pull off loose jeans, but in general, they're not going to look best with most sweaters. You're not going to have as many options. And skinny jeans, unless you are a skinny individual, are probably not going to work for you. In addition, I think skinny jeans finally are going out of style. Now, if you've got a muscular build, I do think that a more relaxed fit on the jeans is going to be fine because your sweater is going to be larger, especially if you've got really wide shoulders, if you've got a larger chest, then yeah, you want to go for a balancing act here. So maybe a little bit more relaxed on the jeans is going to be fine. Now, what if you're a bigger guy? You're a little bit heavy set. You got an extra 50 pounds around the waist. I'm not going to say that every sweater and jean combination is going to look good for you. In fact, you want to be careful with this combination because you need more support in the shoulders and jeans in general are not going to be the most flattering trousers. But you probably have a few pair of jeans that you absolutely love the fit on. You know they look good on you. So stick with that style. But again, go with darker palettes and you're going to want to make sure that you're wearing a sweater that's going to complement you. But people who are living near the equator may not be comfortable in a sweater or a shirt. So a polo shirt will save the day. Wearing a polo shirt with jeans is to select the right type of denim. If you're going to wear that polo, understand everything else in the outfit should be muted, especially the denim. That being said, if you're wearing a colored denim or you're wearing distressed denim, you're really going to try to pull this look off, then this is when you need to keep the polo muted in a simple, clean color. Well, gents, if you didn't know, here at Real Men Real Style, we've developed what we call the style score. We've got a really quick and easy quiz that you can take, and at the end of it, you'll be given a specific number and areas that we think you can improve upon. Seriously, it's just a fun little test that we put together, and I'll link to it down in the description of today's video. For the majority of situations, you're going to want to go with a classic washed denim, preferably in a dark indigo blue, although you can bring in black, you can bring in a dark gray. I've seen guys actually bring in a dark maroon, a red, and actually work with a solid polo. Pay attention to the fit of the denim. You want to make sure, again, you're not going to extremes. So, that overly loose, that baggy denim, you're going to want to avoid anything that is skinny too close to the skin. Again, you want to avoid this. Even a loose straight leg, I think, can be a little bit too casual. You want to avoid the boot cut. It's going to be too loose at the bottom. Instead, go for a closer straight fit or maybe a slim cut. Definitely, I think it looks best when you've got a tapered modern cut. Now, what about the footwear with the jeans? This is an interesting one because you can almost pair anything with jeans and the most common of them all are boots. Correct way to match boots and jeans? Type in the style of jeans I'm going to look at are going to be either a slim or a tapered cut. You could also go with a straight cut. What you want to avoid though is going to be a loose baggy cut or even a boot cut. Yes, these are boots, but most boot cuts are made for western boots or boots that are going to have a larger, thicker shaft at the top. So now let's talk about boots that actually work with the boot cut. Both of these right here are going to be heavier, are going to be more casual, and because of the length of the shaft, not necessarily the thickness, all both of these right here would work fine with a boot cut. Maybe not too wide because it could start to envelop the whole boots, but in general, because of the size, because of the clunkiness, the build of these boots right here, they're not going to be dwarfed by that opening at the bottom. You could also wear straight, and I think straight jeans for the majority of boots is pretty much the perfect one to go with. I would be careful about going with a tapered fit. Definitely, you don't want to go skinny unless maybe you're going for that. That clunky foot. Yeah, if you're a fashionista, then what are you doing watching my videos? Should you be teaching this stuff? But what if you don't have a pair of boots in your wardrobe? An old pair of loafers lying in the corner of your wardrobe will surprisingly work wonders with jeans. If you do really want to go with loafers that are going to work well with the widest number of jeans, you probably want to go with a lighter colored loafer in general. I've seen guys be able to pull off black loafers with denim. Highly recommend if you don't own any loafers, this is the one you need to start with. It is so easy to bring into a wardrobe, especially if you want with a color like oxblood or dark brown, is that you could wear them with a casual suit. You could pull these off with jeans in the same day and they, they're just going to work for you. So, of all the slip-ons we're talking about today, the moccasins are going to be the most casual, probably the best ones to pair solely with denim. What about your Hyperbeast sneakers, which you want to rock but can't find a fit to pair with them? What you must avoid are sneakers that no matter how you put it, they are casual. Yes, they're great for running, but for showing up trying to dress up jeans, nah, not a good combination. You want to make sure that you select the right style. We talked about that in mistakes, getting the proportions right, but really that's going to be the cut of the denim. And then pay attention to that leg opening and 
the basic out seam. If you're going more for a retro style, you're a big fan of Jordan 1s, you want to bring those into your wardrobe, you want to be careful about mixing them in with that modern sleek look. If you are a fan of light colored sneakers, then consider a light wash. Now, light washes, when it comes to jeans, these are going to be some of the most casual jeans out there. That being said, if you want to pair them with white sneakers, if you want to pair them with light gray, maybe off white, anything like that, you're going to find that this is just a really simple, easy combination. Now, the basic rule here is that neutral colors. We're talking grays, whites, blacks, and beiges. These can pair with pretty much any type of jeans. Now, gents, you know how to rock anything with the jeans. Hopefully, you have escaped the metric of seven out of ten men that don't know how to rock their denims. All right, gents, so if you like this video, you are going to love this one right here. The only style rules a man needs to know. Seriously, you need to know these. Click on it right here. You'll go right to the video. It's a good one.